All right, here's a new clip. Here's the one we've been dicking with. You can see how they're a little bit different. Here's how the new one goes on. See, they fit in a lot easier and better. Now you can beat them around where they belong. Things will stay put. A little bit of in play side to side. It's going back and forth. So you can only roll these around so much more than what you got. Just going to use our workbench here to play with a little bit. So I guess I kind of go in the direction I want to go. Go back over here again. around the edge there see so now it's starting to stay put already so I'm going to squeeze over the vice grips right along these edges here and bring it in better so I'm going to tighten that thing right up like that Pull up on the back side a little bit. All right. Things gonna fight me a little bit, but what's new about that, right? First crimp. A long ways with it. Second one in there. Third one's easier because it's already lined up the right direction. Okay, that's the first one in there now. I go to the other side here, do the same thing. Oh yeah, pushed it right off. Couldn't hold on the back side. Oops. Usually I have this in a voice, but I can't film in a voice. Not very easy anyway. Oh well, I'm gonna have to go use some real tools. Keep screwing around over here. All right, let's get this one back in there. Nope, it won't go in. All right, fight, fight, fight. Problems I'm jammed all the way on this side, I need to be jammed on this side. This year leading edge is going to pull out, it needs to be over on that side better. And that's the side that's fighting me. Okay. Time to move over to a different area. We need a vise. light. 
hard to do all the fancy work in videotape at the same time. Okay, this is my more important side. This is the side I want to work on right now. <clears throat> I figure I'm going to hold it. And I can work on it at the same time. Okay. So I got my edge pinched in there. Shoes all the way down. I'm going to squeeze it up here. Hopefully it'll do the trick. First I'm going to try to wrap it a little bit further. Just nothing grabbing hold of it in here. It's just not getting a hold of it. See, it's wrapped all the way around this corner, but it's not in this side. Uh... Put it in this side first and try the other side. Looks like the shoe's made too short. Okay, see now it's in this side pretty good and barely in the back side, but that's the back side. It can be that way. Okay. Pushing this damn thing right out of the dam. Pushing it up. Alright, this, this thing is just fighting me like crazy. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I'm trying to figure this stupid thing out. I'm tired and frustrated. Okay, so this thing doesn't have a very even curve to it, obviously. This is where they cut or sheared off the piece for the other part. This is not at all flat through here, not even close. So, when you put the shoe on there, you can see how it's way past where it should be. I thought it was way up here. It actually sticks down quite a bit more. Okay, so we gotta make the clip to hold it in at that position. I'm having the thing bending around, which is too damn much, which is fighting it. It's bottoming out and pulling the damn thing off, which is fighting us. We don't wanna be doing that. So this needs to be opened up a little bit. So I really want to do that without destroying the damn thing. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is get this damn thing out of here somehow. If I can identify what we need to do here. It doesn't fit very well with the problem. You need a lot wider base in here for the 
make room for this and two to be in the same spot. See how wide this area is in here? The clip isn't that wide down there. All the way in there, see? That's the problem. It's one of the problems. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this. Hold it like that. I'm gonna roll it with a with a hammer. And that should roll it around and hopefully it'll hold it where it needs to be. So I need something solid to hit on and that ain't over here. And I ain't hitting on my top of my mill table or my drill press or my lathe. I have a big table over here for beating on stuff like that with. Right here. We're gonna beat on over here. Hopefully this will do what we need to do. Split it way off the end is what it did. Hmm. That didn't work very even. It, it folded over good, but it, it just rolled across the whole face. So I get to bend this back and start over again. Things easy don't take this anywhere near this long to screw on me. But whatever. It is what it is. Of course now this clip's getting all bent to hell too, so it's having the same issues I had before. Bent to the wrong angles. Okay, that one goes on there now. Need more wrap. She's wrapped now. Shit now. Never gonna work. But it's starting to fit better. The more I butcher it, the better it's getting. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna try to roll this edge over a little bit. Flip to the other side before I go too far on that side. Go back on this side, hold it together again with my hand. And it's pulling up on me now because I can't hold it down. Yep. I need something to hold it together. I can't hold it and beat on it at the same time. It lifts up the shoe. It's peeling across the wrong spot. Trying to close it up, but it ain't going to work that way. Start over. Oh, going to be one of those nights. I can tell already. Just gotta 
figure out what it wants and give it to it. I haven't figured it out yet. So it's giving it to me. <laughs> okay. How am I going to hold that damn thing down? See, I need to hold this down so I can, so I can press it here and it'll stay put. That's what I haven't figured out yet to do. You need a curved piece of metal there to hold it. Could use another shoe, probably. Hold to get a pair of vice grips and then beat on it. Hope it stays. I ain't got no more out. Okay. Go back to the old method. Force and hammer. Yeah, that was good, except for over this side. Yeah. Okay, I gotta find something to clamp this together with. It's trying to go on, but I can't keep the shoe down. I'll be back. All right, we're back. I'm getting it pretty close now. I've been working on it. So I went and bought a dowel pin to stick in here to bend these out flat so I quit bending the back side. I flattened this out quite a bit to wrap it around more. I open up these ears so I can actually see what's happening over here. So you can see I got a pretty good pinch on that. This is our leading edge. So it's not going to pull out of that. And our trailing edge has got a pretty good overlap also. So. I'm just laying on the table right here and hitting it with a hammer. It pulls it over pretty good. This plate is not round, but the shoe is trying to be round. So you're getting these gaps between where it hits and doesn't hit. So it's hitting here and hitting here and hitting over here, but they've got these flat spots in here. So it makes it look like it's pulling weight up, but it's not really pulling up very far. See, you won't lay down flat like that because there's nothing pushing it down over here. So this whole thing is not very round. All right, so Let's go like that. Give it a little final persuader. Looks like it's in there pretty good. Okay, last thing I do is fold these edges over so it'll stay in that spot. That should stay in there relatively decent. Maybe we want. Fun. Okay, we'll be back.